make my own rules and my own plans. I got no room for no man. That's my way. That's my way. But then I saw you in a dream, right? I wanna call you. I kind of feel it then I can't name. Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my skincare video, well an updated one, I, ha I think I already have two videos on my channel, maybe one, but this video has been so requested by you guys and you just have been asking what I've been using to help my skin look um, good, I don't know. I do agree with the fact that my skin looks okay, but recently it has been acting up, I mean... I'll talk, I'll get into like the details in a minute but basically like it's so funny how I'm doing this video and I have a massive like spot trying to heal right there. <laughs> right now I'm in front of like natural lighting, I'm in front of my big kitchen window and there's some, the, the light is on basically. So this is what my skin looks like and I would first like to point out my contacts because so many of you ask me what I'm wearing whenever I'm wearing them and these are the Fresh Look colour blends in sterling grey and I really like them. I would have preferred the grey ones instead of sterling grey because these are kind of bright for my skin tone but I still like them so th that's what I'm wearing as contacts today. So the issue that I have with my skin is that it's dry and it has like it's quite clear but I have so many little bumps on my face so when I went for like a Bobbi Brown makeup lesson the lady who was um, doing my skin she kept putting skincare like products on my skin and the first thing she caught out was the fact that there's bumps everywhere on my skin and I was like oh my god someone has realised because I thought it was just me. Um, my skin I think now is so much better but before I had so many little like hard bumps and I had one here that wouldn't like go away. So I did a bit of research into them and basically they're called milia and babies can get them, men can get them, anyone can get them. So um, some people say it's makeup products or whatever but I don't really think so because babies wouldn't get them anyways. So I think it's actually heavy moisturisers so that's what I've been t like kind of going away from. I used to really wear like heavy moisturisers for my skin because my skin's so dry so automatically I told myself that I needed a heavy moisturiser to really really moisturise my skin but basically that I don't think that's right for me because basically what it was doing is filling my pores with lipids well that's what the lady said it was just really filling my pores with fat lipids and basically calling, causing these really hard white spots so I had one like here and what I had to do to remove it because it was there for so long what I had to do to remove it is kind of like poke it with a needle and then it was so hard like the ball of white stuff it was literally so hard so I literally needed to pop it out and that's how it got, went away and now it's just like it didn't even leave a scar or anything which is I was kind of worried about but it didn't leave a scar and now it's just finally gone so yeah the milia was one um, issue of mine I just didn't really like it it was bothering me the most the little spots on my face when I would wear makeup you could really see them a bit more and but now I feel I see a huge difference that literally nearly all gone. I mean I do have some here and there but mostly like I would say they're 85% gone. And another thing that I don't like about my skin is the hyperpigmentation I have around my mouth and some here but I don't really care about these but it's mostly around my mouth area and I don't really like it. And the large dips under my eyes but I can't do anything about that unless I get like Botox or whatever. Um, but yeah I just have to deal with those <laughs> large dips. My skin is not really pigmented here so it's not really my skin, it's just the f where my face is, it's just that it just goes inwards. I have really hollow eyeballs so that's why I get these dark circles around my eyes so I can't really do anything about that. But anyways I'm just going to stop rambling and start talking about what products I like to use. So one product that I like to use every now and then, it's not really all the time, is this Super Facialist vitamin C brighten skin renew cleansing oil now I only like to use this every now and then when I want to remove my makeup and you need to do this like you need to use this and then use another cleanser to wash the excess oil away so that's why I don't like to use it too often but I feel like it really hydrates my skin but then again I don't want to use it too often so that I'm filling my pores in with something very fatty so I still like it I really love the smell of it it smells like um I think it smells like it smells kind of like mandarins or, or not oranges but like mandarins it just smells really nice and refreshing and I really like it um, but yeah that's what I like to use sometimes just to remove my makeup and kind of do that extra step for like cleansing so the next product that I am going to talk about is one that I was kind of skeptical about at 
first but now I feel like it's done such an amazing job for my skin I mean I think this is one of my lifesavers and it's this nip and fab plus skin and it's the glycolic cleansing fix so um, this I don't know for what type for what skin types this is good for so what it says it's is it's a foaming facial cleanser with glycolic acid and cleansing olive oil and on the back it says it's a deep cleansing plus purifying formula for clear and radiant skin it has 2% glycolic acid which gently exfoliates and retextures skin and olive oil that cleanses and purifies pores okay so when you put this as you can see with like the clip that I'm inserting you can see that it's kind of like soapy and the reason why that's not really good is because people with dry skin are not really meant to like use soapy cleansers because it can really cause your skin to tighten and really dry up. That's why I didn't use it for a little bit. But I know the um, glycolic acid is meant to be good for people with like acne spots or acne or things like that. And um, what it kind of does, I feel like it kind of like renews your skin so it kind of takes away the first layer and kind of makes forces your skin to renew itself and I feel like that is what's been helping my little tiny bumps on my face because I had so many around this area and they're kind of gone it's like it's so smooth here now and I'm so so happy about it you guys like literally you can't even know you don't even know so I've literally been using this morning at night it can dry me up around my nose area so that's you always have to make sure that you're wearing a good moisturiser. If you have dry skin, if you have this problem with bumps, don't use a heavy moisturiser because even though if it's really moisturising, it will cause these little bumps. It, well, I think it depends with everyone, but that's what it was doing for me. But this has kind of removed those bumps and I use a light moisturiser and I just make sure that I really massage it around my nose area and I feel like that's been helping me so much and my, my, my nose doesn't feel that dry to be honest. You can notice a bit of peeling when you use this, but I just think that's normal. The olive oil kind of like soothes, soothes the skin as well, and this smells really nice. It has a similar smell to the Super Facialist one, and it, li it literally smells like mandarins as well, like a sweet, chemically smell, but it has a bit of orange in it, I don't know. <laughs> but it smells really nice, and I've been loving it. I think Kylie Jenner uses Nip and Fab face products, and her skin is amazing so I wanted to try it and now that I have I really love it like I, I just love this so much like it's so good so yeah that's the cleanser I basically use every day morning and night another good thing about this product is it's super affordable I think I got it for $7.99 you get so much in here you don't you need this lit like the smallest amount to wash your whole face and it's just really easy to use it removes my eye makeup easily and yeah, that's what I really like. I really love this, seriously. If you have the same problem as me, definitely try this. If you have acne, try this as well, because I think it might help you. So once I've cleansed my skin and my skin is all nice and like squeaky clean, I like to sometimes go in with a um, cleansing facial scrub. I love this one. As you can see, I've used it so much. And this is the Sanctuary Spa Radiance Exfoliator. I believe this is around seven to ten pounds it depends but mostly at Boots you can get them for free for two sanctuary spa as you all know i really love their skincare range because they i feel like they're the higher end of drugstore skincare um it's so good like they feel very luxurious and the reason why i like this is just that it has these little like bits in it and it kind of it really exfoliates your skin now i only exfoliate two to three times a week like every two or three days like, you don't want to do this every day because it can damage your skin and I'm already using the um, glycolic acid one and that kind of like breaks your skin down a bit so you don't want to use something like all the time that will do that. I like to use this just to remove any dead skin that I have on my face and that's what it does. It kind of like smooths your skin out. So at the back, on the back it says that it's ha it has ultra fine apricot granules and grape seed to exfoliate and refine whilst a trio of pumpkin, pineapple and papaya extracts help to leave skin looking revitalized. Now the reason why I love this, I feel like this has been, is the like the star product that's been kind of removing my um, pigmentation around my mouth area so a lot of you guys have been asking what I've been doing to remove my pigmentation I think it's this seriously this I feel like because I concentrate so much around my mouth area it's kind of evening out now it's not completely gone I mean you can still see some pigmentation but this is what I think has been really like removing that pigmentation so that's why I love it so much and that's why I like to use it consistently and making sure that I'm using it two to three times a week, not every day, because you want to be careful with exfoliators. 
I thought I would just add this other facial scrub in this video and it's the Botanics one. This is the All Bright one and I feel like this um, really like, is it's kind of more like a hydrating facial scrub. It feels very oily on the skin. And again it has those little like bits in it that exfoliates your skin and I've used this quite a lot as well. I kind of like switch between the two but I've been mostly using the Sanctuary one. But this as well is a good one if you guys want to try something out that's a bit more cheaper. So now I'm just going to move on to um, toner. I only use one and I don't do it all the time. I don't think you really need to tone your skin every time. So what I like to use is this, gly this glycerin and rose water one. This is by Boots Traditional Skin Care and it's a toning and moisturising toner and it's, I don't know, I just feel like it's very soothing on my skin. It does kind of have that tiniest alcohol smell but I just you put it on some cotton ball and just wipe my skin away. This is really good for when you've um, taken away your makeup off, it just takes any excess dirt that you have on your skin around like your hairline or like your chin or like around your nose like in areas where you just kind of missed out it just takes that excess dirt away and that's why every now and then it's just good to like tone and especially if you have large pores it's nice to tone because it kind of gets into those pores and removes all the excess dirt so this is the one I really like to use. So now onto moisturizers which is the most important part for me because I really want my skin to be hydrated but I don't want the moisturizer to be too thick so that's filling my pores up and creating those milia kind of white hard spots on my face that which was my main cause of concern. So these are the four moisturizers that I've been using lately. Now in this video I did use the um, Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion and this is for very dry to dry combination and the reason why I really like this moisturizer is because even though it's um, targeted for dry to very dry skin it is super light like I feel like the consistency is light and it's not too heavy and again I just make sure that with any light moisturizer that I use I like I just make sure that I really massage it into my skin and I've just been loving this I've always used this like for quite a while and I really like I really like it I feel like the smell isn't that great but I just don't care I just as long as the consistency is right and that it hydrates my skin it's all good so I really like this one so the other one that I've been using almost every day is this simple one this is the kind to skin replenishing rich moisturizer and this is another very like light moisturizer and I just make sure that I moisturize it into my skin it doesn't really have a scent to be honest and it's I feel like it, the simple skincare are quite simple let me see the ingredients I can't see the ingredients actually but I just feel like it's just really light and it, it does the job so I've been liking this and it hasn't been making me break out or anything so this has been suiting my skin tone really well the other one that you guys know that I really really like and it's which is good for when you have like blemishes and acne is this La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo one and I'm nearly running out of this and this is again a oh, super light moisturiser and it says it's anti-marks which again I think really helps with my pigmentation and if you have any scars it will be this will be really good for you too and yeah this is another one I really like it's really good for when I have like blemishes like this basically <laughs> so I would just like massage this into my skin and again it's really light and it moisturizes really well and the last and final one is this La Roche-Posay um, Hydrogen Reach now this is a more thicker consistency so I've been using it a bit less this one's kind of similar to my Garnier Nourish Plus cream for dry to very dry skin so I just like to use kind of like come like alternate between the two but it's still like it's richer but it's still light it's not like my sanctuary spa night cream which I was using so much and I think that's what caused my milia is so thick and even though I really love it I have been stopped I have stopped using it because it's way too thick. This one's a bit lighter than that and I still think it's fine so I still use it and it hasn't been bringing anything back. Oh and just the last thing sometimes I like to go in with some um, eye cream I just kind of like dab it with my ring finger and this is the simple kind to eye soothing eye balm and this is super affordable I think I got for two pounds and you need the tiniest amount to cover like your whole under eye area um it hasn't been doing great things but I still like to moisturize that skin that area of my skin because it's super thin so you need to give it some love as well so that's what I've been using to kind of moisturize my under eye area so that's the end of my updated skincare routine I really hope that you found this video helpful and that I answered your questions now these products may not work for everyone but I feel like it has done, these products have done such a great job for me, especially the glycolic fix one, the nip and fab one, and the sanctuary facial 
spa scrub thingy and also just using a um, light moisturiser. Now if you have really big issues with your skin just please like do your research make sure that you're using the right products because that's what I did. I did a ton of research for what was going on with my skin and that now that I have kind of like the knowledge I know what, what was going on and I kind of did the right thing to kind of fix my skin. So um, I still hope that the tips and all the information that I've given you in this video will kind of help you if you're in the same if you have like the same issues as me um if you have dry skin or like normal skin these products will be great some of them may not be some of them actually the nip and fab one would, would be really good if you have oily skin I think because it's quite dry but I still think it's great for all skin types if you have really dry skin definitely don't use it but if you have like acne I feel like that will really help you they do also have a cleansing oil I believe so if you feel like this the this cleanser is too soapy then use the cleansing oil which may be a bit better for you um, but yeah I really hope that you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos by the way I will still be having my giveaway I'm just I just need to buy the product and I'll just insert like probably add it in a video soon so I didn't forget about that you there will be a little giveaway and it's probably going to be like an eyeshadow palette or something so yeah I think that's all I have to say um thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and I will see you all in my next video mm.